Did anybody watch that 14 peaks with that guy, Nims Perger? Climbed 14 8,000 meter peaks in one season. What is it about that deep emotional bond? There are certain things that get really inside of who you are that really, really resonate with what's going on and help you to almost uncover yourself, like a psychological trigger in sports, like um, an emotion or a memory or something. Well, today's video is about how you can pull at that, how you can tug at that, how you can create something different with, with whatever that is, that, that deep, that deep stuff that helps you to uncover something new, helps you to find something different. So um, when I talk about this stuff, I'm talking about these 5,000 concepts, this idea that things in your world, things in your life can become different if you start to map them and mold them and create something different with them. Now you can do this with yourself, an individual, or you can do this in a company. You can create something completely new by pushing and stretching and exploring and finding stuff that's right now doesn't make sense but once you push and expand on it something becomes different Okay, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So this entire channel, the business service, everything started because of my psychological change, because something happened to me and I wanted to make something of it, I wanted to understand it. I had this deconstruction of the false persona where I lived in this false world. Okay, how do we do something with this? How do I explore and expand and help others with this kind of stuff? So it started off with psychological change, which then became a study of change. You can't go to university and be a changeologist, it's not a thing. Which then became, well, how do you explain that? So I came up with Change Machine. So I thought, well, a machine of change. Okay, sounds good, works for me. Machine is actually Machen, which is my oak. And my oak to me means psychological change, change who I am. It maps back around. So these little concepts, you can see how they start to fit together. And then from there, I've come up with things like this. If you will change, everything will change for you. If you will change, everything will change for you. And that's a very small example of these little concepts, how things in your world, they all have a similar meaning, but to take them apart, they all come from very different places and don't make much sense unless you explain it with that. Now, your world, your your your, your life or your, your company's world, how things, like this is what organisations, this is what a strong organisation would do anyway. They, they map and model and things fit together well and they can get things done. They can respond. They can build things and create things. They can do things differently. And if you can find all these things in a company, you can create something pretty extraordinary. This quote's actually from Steve Jobs. He talks about how things fit together differently. And as you get into all these things, designing a product is keeping 5,000 things in your brain, these concepts how to create these extraordinary products. Coincidentally, I now have 5,300 and if you can see that, 57 notes on my phone. That is a complete coincidence. These go back to, to 2010. And all these different things I have, are different you know, goals and things that have happened in my life and in the past. And every day I try to reconcile with them and try to create something, something new, something different, and it works. It, drastically works it gets you from i don't know struggling to make a youtube channel to having one you really enjoy doing to having this idea of business service to having something you can just lay out and map out and say look this is what i do you keep you keep pulling at things you keep pushing at things and like the quote says every single day things become different and that's where this 5000 concepts come from now, you don't actually need 5000 in your life to do something different you can have a few hundred, but it's just how you derive meaning and how you project meaning. You keep pulling and pushing and twisting on that for it to become different. And then if you watch yesterday's episode, things start to map and mold together differently. So yesterday, you might have seen me insert a couple of TikTok videos. 
you might have seen me reference different books and those things continue to build upon the channel because I can reference back and then build something with those later on which map back to deep down where I'm trying to go going forward. And this is how, at least in my mind, if you want to map and model reinvention, you've got to work with these concepts. You've got to push and pull and twist and fabricate and find new ways and new different things and how it all fits together differently. And nobody in companies is yet doing this. There's there's some consulting, management consulting stuff on reinvention, but lead from the trenches is more more my thing and what I want you to do as well. Take the lead on your own life and master what it is you do and, and how it is you do it and create something extraordinary with your life by pushing and pulling and doing all this stuff with these concepts. And lastly, I'm convinced by the time this self-discovery show is over, we're going to have these models of psychological change. Emerging from yourself is going to be extraordinary.